One of the most fascinating events in the night sky, is the potential supernova explosion of Betelgeuse. It's a massive red supergiant star, located in the Orion constellation, specifically on Orion's shoulder. In late 2019, this bright star began to dim significantly, a change noticeable even without a telescope. People around the world were intrigued, and wondered if Betelgeuse was dying. Telescopes pointed at the star showed at an event scientists now call the Great Dimming. Betelgeuse is thought to be very close to exploding into a supernova, an event that would be visibly spectacular. But exactly when and why this explosion might occur remains a mystery. Could this supernova harm Earth? Scientists say no, but they continue to monitor it. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, lies in Orion's upper right shoulder and shines with a reddish hue. Even though it's the second brightest in its constellation, it draws a lot of attention due to its peculiar behavior. The name Betelgeuse comes from Arabic, meaning the armpit of the giant, referencing its spot in Orion. It loses about one solar mass every 10,000 years, spreading material around it in all directions. This has created a nebula 30 astronomical units wide, 250 times bigger than the star itself. At its core, Betelgeuse fuses hydrogen into helium, releasing light and heat. When hydrogen runs out, it starts fusing helium and carbon, eventually creating iron. Iron fusion doesn't release energy, so the star collapses and eventually explodes as a supernova. This type of explosion is one of the most powerful events in the universe. Different stars shine in different colors depending on their age and stage of evolution. Ancient astronomers described Betelgeuse's color as rough or yellow, which suggests it may have once been a yellow supergiant. Large stars like Betelgeuse use their hydrogen fast, so they live much shorter lives than smaller stars. Betelgeuse is likely in its final life stages, while our Sun still has over 5 billion years left. The exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova is unknown, and could happen tomorrow or in 100,000 years. Betelgeuse has two brightness cycles, one of which occurs every five years and lasts around 100 days. These cycles involve the expansion and contraction of the star's outer layers, causing changes in size and temperature. In 2019 and 2020, Betelgeuse's dramatic dimming caught the attention of the entire astronomy community. Some believed this behavior signaled that it was entering its final moments. Even though Betelgeuse has been studied since the first century BC, its dimming still leaves many questions. Betelgeuse is also moving through the interstellar medium at about 30 km per second, after being ejected from its original location. This ejection created a shock arc extending more than four light years into space. Determining the exact distance and diameter of red supergiants like Betelgeuse is extremely challenging. As a pulsating star, its size changes over time, affecting how we perceive its brightness. The outer shell of material Betelgeuse has expelled also plays a part in absorbing and emitting light. This makes visual observations even harder to interpret. Depending on the wavelength, the star's measured size can vary by up to 35%, complicating accurate studies. In July 2009, images taken using a ground-based telescope showed a huge plume of gas extending 30 astronomical units. This was just one of several mass ejections Betelgeuse has experienced. There have been at least six major ejections observed, which are critical clues about how red giants lose mass. These mysterious eruptions might be key to understanding how such stars eventually explode. Despite modern tools, the complex dynamics of Betelgeuse's outer layers remain largely unknown. The mechanisms that cause these stars to eject material are still a cosmic puzzle. These giant stars are vital for spreading new elements across galaxies, 
recycling matter through space. Thanks to advances in technology, astronomers are slowly uncovering the secrets of Betelgeuse. In 2019, using the Hubble Space Telescope and other instruments, researchers observed a massive ejection from Betelgeuse. This event, called a surface mass ejection, SME, expelled an amount of material 400 billion times greater than a typical solar ejection. This intense eruption likely explains the sudden dimming of the star seen in late 2019. By mid-February 2020, the star had lost about two-thirds of its brightness, dropping from 0.5 to 1.7 magnitude. However, by February 17, the brightness had started to stabilize and even slightly improve. On February 5, scientists noted that the star had stopped dimming altogether. Still, there was no evidence of core collapse, as no major infrared activity was detected. The cause of this fading, and the future of Betelgeuse, remains uncertain but exciting. Astronomers continue to monitor Betelgeuse closely, hoping to catch signs of its eventual explosion. This would offer a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study a supernova up close, from a safe distance. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, it will be visible even during the day and last for weeks or months. It could become as bright as a full moon, giving us a cosmic show unlike anything else. But rest assured, even a Betelgeuse supernova won't harm Earth, it's simply too far away. This spectacular event would add to our understanding of stellar life cycles, element creation, and space 